Welcome to Scary. Scarum is a wonderful server with tons of players on it at all times and a booming economy. If you're a part of the Horde. The Alliance, on the other hand... I've got you in my sights. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Let's just say it'd be easier to find a gay man in a Chick-fil-A than find anyone to help me out here. See that? That's me. A paladin of the Alliance. When I'm not slapping people with the light, you can typically find me being camped by two to four whores. Worthy. The worst part is, is that the undead is the most played race. And for two reasons. One, they have one of the best racials in the game. Two. Oh, hi, I'm a 12 year old kid and I think undead are super edgy and cool. But what class should I play? Who knows? Rogue or Shadow Priest? <gasps> hmm, you know what? I think I'm gonna mix it up and play a fucking mage. I am a petty and vengeful man. After all, I do play a Retribution Paladin. And I hatched a simple plan to get back at those Skeletor wannabes for... For... I would start my very own crusade. The plan was simple. I'd be flown into Refugee Point. From there, I would begin my crusade by making my way up through Hillsbrad all the way to what is to refer to now as the Plague Lands. I was to kill all undead and undead sympathizers on sight, without hesitation, without mercy. As soon as I leave camp, I already spot a target. Oh no, God! <laughs> Me? <laughs> no! no! The infestation is worse than I thought. Word of my crusade quickly spreads as they send a forward scout to learn of my whereabouts. We're being attacked! I make quick work of him. I then swiftly make my way to Thoradin's Wall, where two border guards are blissfully unaware of my arrival. I jump on the weaker one, striking him with my patented auto attack. Auto attack! Followed up by a six second stun and a double damage judgment. Two crits and a grenade later, one of the hunters falls. Now the real battle begins. With my cooldown still cooling down and already below 50% health, I was in a bit of a pickle. Luckily, I am a warrior of the light, so I invoke my god-given right to be immune to all attacks for 12 seconds. With an attack already queued up, I run up to strike her. Duh. Well, that's not good. After a quick judge, I decide to bandage myself, but she counterplays me by backpedaling away my only weakness. Not wanting to let her put too much space between us, I chase her. Another dodge. What the fuck? She stuns me, but not before I glug down a quick potion. I get crit. It's not looking good. I've barely touched her and I'm near death again. I didn't want to have to do this. But as a man of faith, I could not falter on this day. I invoke the ancient ability, pass down the paladin line for generations. Leon Hun! It fully heals me, but drains all of my mana. This is the paladin's true and final form. I can't lose now. She tries to slow me and create some distance, but I can't allow this to happen. You see, I'm a master engineer. And of all my mighty inventions with me that day, I brought my magnum opus, my piece de resistance, my net. That's right, a net. After a critical strike, I know this is all but over. Stop dodging! Are you serious? This is getting too close for comfort, but I'm low on mana and on tricks. But then, just when I thought all hope was lost, my grenade came off cooldown with one more mighty yeet. I won! I knew I could do it if I put my- Wait, she's still alive! I won that fight. And you have no proof that I didn't. I continue on my quest through the hills, Brad Foothills, and that's when I spot my next target. Ready? Go! Hey, what's up? Vibe check! <gasps> she passed. I 
so she may live. Well played. After a few more <clears throat> mercy killings. And I happen upon an unsightly sight. An evil undead warlock who's taken this poor troll hostage as some sort of slave. I cannot let his crimes go unpunished. My verdict was swift. Do not worry, ma'am, I have- What the- It was at this moment when I realized I may have misjudged the situation. That wasn't a low-level troll being held against their will. That was a level 60 troll shaman hanging out with a level 30. This is some weird-ass kinky cougar shit, and I ain't having any of it! <sighs> well, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> But first, try reincarnating from this bitch! Moving on, I ran into a couple more undead filth. Nice try, guys. God, I love that move. Then I reached my final destination the Western Plague. Cue the PvP montage. Ain't nothing like a phone, baby. <laughs> I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. Look at this dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> After killing countless level 60 undead rogues, go check the footage, they all have different names. It's not my fault they all look the same. It was around this time that I learned a fellow guildie, a total Chad priest by the name of Dense, was also in the Western Plaguelands and needed help dealing with some horde. A hero's job is never done. Get the fuck off me. What the fuck, that ghoul just stole my kill! So I helped dense the Chad priest, what a Chad, clear out all the horde. I then thought to myself that there's been enough bloodshed this day. I'm just gonna help my boy dense. Whoa, such Chad. Finish up a quest, then head on home. But that's when karma revealed its ugly, repulsive, disgusting, malformed, vomit-inducing face. Then we rezzed and killed them all while they were fighting an elite mob. <laughs>